Every thousand generations, a perfect child is born, a golden child. He has come to rescue us. He is the bringer of compassion. If he dies, compassion will die with him. Nothing in this world will hurt him. But if he were to pollute himself with anything impure, he would become vulnerable. There are many great wonders which exist in the universe. There are planets which are made entirely of diamond, like the planets, 55 Cancri, and PSRJ 17 19 14 38 B, which are the home worlds, of diamond-based crystalline entity life forms. There are also planets made entirely of gold. Just like the planet Earth is mostly composed of water, and beings from Earth are also mostly composed of water. Beings from other planets are composed of the elements which are the most abundant elements on their home world. Thus, beings from planets made entirely of gold, are themselves also made entirely of, gold. This is the extraterrestrial origin of what is known as the golden race or the golden child or golden children. The golden race came to the planet Earth 12,000 years ago. We crash landed in the remote mountainous region of Bai and Karayula in China. Our crash was recorded on the artifacts known as the Drobus Stones. The Drobus Stones are stone discs which contain strange hieroglyphics which describe our arrival to the planet Earth. Once we migrated out of the mountains, we mixed in, and interbred, with various human populations all over the Earth. In the various places we settled, we established our temples where we taught the shamanistic practices of transcendental meditation and astral projection as a way for our descendants to stay in contact with our home world. The golden race mixed in and interbred with all human races, but there was significantly more mixing in, done with the human race, you call Asian, and also the East Africans known as Nubians. This is why many Asian people have a skin color which is yellow, which is close to gold. This is also why the word Nubian comes from an ancient Egyptian word, Nub, which means gold. In ancient Egypt, the golden child was called, Hornub, the offspring of Thoth and Seshat. This is why you find cities called, Kush, in both the regions of Nubia and Asia. This is why it is said that the Asiatic black man is the maker, owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, and god of the universe. The Asiatic black man is symbolic of the golden race. In the 2017 movie Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the golden race was depicted as an extraterrestrial race called, the Sovereign, and their leader was named, Aisha. Because the extraterrestrial golden race mixed in with various groups of humans in ancient times, now, modern humans have different degrees of this golden DNA. Sometimes you can just see it. When you meet certain people, it is as if the gold just shines through from within them. These are people who are descendants of the golden race. Sometimes one of the golden children may not know why they are special, but they notice that people are always drawn to them. People have a tendency to want to follow them. People always want to be in their presence, to bask in their glow. The golden children themselves may feel somewhat strange, awkward, and insecure. They have an awareness that other people don't seem to have. But, they have to learn how to harness their power to gain access to their higher abilities such as telepathy, intuition, and clairvoyance. They are empathic. They are very gifted. They represent the next evolutionary quantum leap. They are able to modulate certain tones and frequencies at the speed of vibration to transcend existence and energize and de-energize at will. People may call you a nut, but you must remember that Nut was the name of the ancient Egyptian sky goddess, so you are in fact a Nut, a child of the sky, a child of the stars, a golden child. 